Now we're moving on to next floor, floor four. And things are going to get easier from here. So in floor four, we have a um, straightforward feed forward, feed forward neural network. And why do we need that in there? It's a it's a two layer feed forward neural network. So you have this these context rich vectors. They go into a fully connected layer with an activated function. Uh, so they're five hundred twelve dimensional vectors. They go into a fully connected layer. I think uh, it's a two thousand and forty eight dimensional uh, uh, hidden layer, and then after that they go back through another fully connected layer without an activation function. This time they go into uh, the output layer. So basically two full Two fully connected layers, or two layers, yeah, fully connected layers. The first one has an activation function. That's the point of the feed-forward neural network. Uh, first one, it um, it adds more weights and uh, biases, basically it adds more parameters to the model, so to increase its learning capacity, and uh, so it can model more complex relationships. And it also adds an activation function. So remember, up until this point, we haven't had any activation functions. We've only had uh, linear transformations, matrix operations, without any activation functions. Uh, because that's how the transformer is structured. This is the first time in the neural network we're adding activation functions. So it this will help it learn even better and more complex nonlinear relationships in the in the data, uh, in the like in the linguistics. And another thing to note, very important. Uh, this is not like obvious uh, if you're learning transformers for the first time. This feed forward neural network is applied independently to each one of the vectors. So we have six context-rich vectors that we've created, and they go through this neural network independently. They go in parallel, of course, but they, uh, they're they not mixed and matched inside this network. The only time inside a transformer that vectors get to somewhat interact with each other is in the attention mechanism, where the vectors can look up these V values from each other using the QK mechan indexing mechanism. Uh, apart from that, everything is completely separate. So each one of these six vectors goes through the feed for all neural network and comes out on the other side even more enriched. Like they, their context enrichment hasn't changed because that was in the attention mechanism. But now they've had, uh, you know, they've gone through a, a feed for all neural network with more weights, with more, with some activation functions. So they're they're even more enhanced, even more, in, uh, yeah, even more enhanced like, uh, vectors. And yeah, provides so more flexibility. Flexible. Flexibility for what? Uh, in in the whole thing that we're trying to accomplish, like by having oh yes, a, a learning feed forward neural network, yeah, like by having a feed forward neural network anywhere in, when we're trying to map x to y, a feed forward neural network is always just going to allow you to have some kinds of subtleties be handled, um, some kind of flexibility in learning that otherwise might not be possible. So it's cool, yeah, it makes a lot yeah, of sense to sure. have that in there. 